The family of a Tennessee man who died from COVID-19 last weekend says he was recently diagnosed with cancer. Immunocompromised people, like cancer patients, are at a high risk of dying from the virus. But as WB Section News 5's Kelly Roberts reports, even if cancer patients recover from the virus, their chemo treatments can take a big hit. Cancer patients at Baptist Memorial Hospital are already feeling the weight of this pandemic, some asking doctors to make a scary decision. I had five encounters with patients and they were, a couple of them were supposed to get chemotherapy. So the burning question in their mind was, should I go through with this chemotherapy? Dr. Shayla Sapute says patients are weighing what's more dangerous, leaving the house or missing a chemotherapy treatment. But he says it's a logical question for patients to be asking because COVID-19 in an immune compromised person can be deadly and it can derail chemotherapy treatments. It is our guidelines to hold chemotherapy for anyone who's suffering an active infection. So uh, even in the absence of a pandemic, I would have held uh, chemotherapy for such a patient for any flu-like illness. Dr. Sapute says having someone with an infection go on with chemotherapy can quickly kill that person. He says there are already studies, albeit small studies, out of China about how the virus impacts cancer patients. We found out that about 39% of those patients had to be admitted to ICU, had it a lot more severe. The family of one of the COVID-19 patients in Tennessee who died over the weekend said their loved one was recently diagnosed with cancer. In a post by his sister, Minnesota Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan, she said her brother's immune system was compromised and he was eventually put in medically induced coma. But she added the former Marine fought as hard as he could, but it simply was too much for his body. She added this is why we stay home. Kelly Roberts, WMC Action News 5.